Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is entry level SQL interview questions. If any of these questions are just blindsiding you, don't be alarmed. I will make future videos and have a full course on SQL itself. So don't get too scared. This is just to prepare you for possible interviews. Also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel as well as my free email list. Now on to the video. No matter if you're a manual QA tester or an automation engineer, you will be interviewed on your SQL skills. In this video, I will go over 10 questions that you may be asked in an entry level interview for SQL. If you're new to the QA or automation field, don't be scared to start practicing for interviews. It's never too early. The earlier you start practicing, the more experience and comfortability you get with your answers. So question number one, and try to trip you up a little bit here. What is SQL versus MySQL? SQL is a query programming language that manages a relational database management system. Whereas MySQL is an example of a relational database management system that uses SQL. So think of it as SQL is a programming language for querying and MySQL is a platform that you can use that programming language at. Next, what is a primary key and why is it important? A primary key is the column or columns that contain the values that uniquely identify each row in a table. No two rows can have the same primary key values. It is important because it ensures row level accessibility when creating queries. Just think, if a table has no primary key and you wanna find one specific row in the table, it's gonna be hard to find because several rows may have the exact same values. So by having a primary key, it becomes easier to query for specific information in a table. Number three, what are some of the commands that you can use to manipulate data in a table? So when you first think about manipulating data in a table, you think about possibly adding data to a table, changing data that exists in a table already, or removing data from that table. And the commands that will allow you to manipulate data would be insert, which allows you to add data to a table, update, which allows you to update data in a table, and then delete, which allows you to remove data from a table. Number four, what is a database schema? A database schema represents the configuration of all or part of a relational database. It is considered the blueprint and describes how data may relate to other tables. Number five, the soil deals with getting rid of data. Define the difference between drop, delete, and truncate for a table. The drop command deletes a table and all the records inside of it. The delete command is used to remove one or more rows from a table. And the truncate command deletes all the data in a table, but the table still exists after, unlike the drop command. So remember, if you drop a table, it no longer exists. You can't try to query that table ever again because it doesn't exist. If you're deleting from a table, you're deleting certain rows within that table. And then the truncate command is emptying out all the rows from that table, but the table structure still exists. So you can easily insert more data with no problem. Number six, what is normalization in regards to a database? Database normalization is the process of structuring a relational database in accordance with a series of normal forms to reduce data redundancy and increase data integrity. Number seven, how is a left join different from a regular inner join? Depending on how new you are, you might not be too comfortable with joins, but knowing this answer is very important. With a regular join or an inner join, they're the same thing, you return the results that match from both tables. With a left join, you return all the results from the left table or the table on the left side and the matching results from the right table. So the whole data set for the second part of a left join is gonna be more information. So remember, inner join, everything that matches from both tables. Left join, everything that matches from the right table and then a left table, all those records are gonna be returned. Now for questions eight, nine, and 10, we're gonna actually query a table into questions like that. So number eight, 
select the top three rows from this table name test lead subs. So as you can see, there's five rows and three columns. To select the top three, we'll use select top three star. Remember, star returns all columns and then from test lead subs. And test lead subs is the table name. Number nine, select the row where first name equals Yagami from this table, test lead subs. So now it is returning one row. So select star from test lead subs, but now we're gonna add a where clause where the first name equals Yagami, which is what we are searching for. And last but not least, number 10, select the rows where last name contains an O. For this one, we will use regex or a regular expression. Select star from test lead subs where last name like percent sign O percent sign. And it will return these records. If regex is new to you, don't be scared. As I said, I'll do a full course on SQL where it'll cover regex and everything else. But for our example here, the percent sign says any character or characters before this is okay. So any characters before the O is okay, and then the letter O, and then any characters after it. That means as long as the letter O is in the word, because of our regex, we will find it. And that's it, thank you for watching. Those are 10 entry level SQL interview questions. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you are new to my channel, Subscribe to my email list, it's free. You'll get discounts on all my courses, books. You'll be the first to know everything. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. If you have suggestions for future videos, leave that below as well. And most importantly, don't forget to learn something new today.